Melissa and I got married about three months ago, middle of June, Cape Cod. Uh, we met Father Walter Kuhn through Rabbi Lev. Uh, Father Kuhn works at Brandeis. He's, he's done uh, hundreds of weddings in the past all over the world. He also has uh, his, his family counseling, uh, marriage counseling, does all that for you. Um, Father Walter Kuhn and Rabbi Lev really put us at ease about the whole interfaith wedding. Um, some people look down on it or think it's going to be really challenging, and, but I think it's more of how you, how you look at it and you know, we're very comfortable, our families are very comfortable with it and they just really encouraged us to you know, put our, first for, our foot forward and do what is right for us. And you know, without meeting with them and having them help us, I think it just really helped us. The, the ceremony itself was, just, we've heard from uh, many people there out the way that it was the best ceremony they've ever been to. Uh, both the rabbi and the priest worked seamlessly together. It was from, from the beginning of the ceremony to the end of the ceremony. It was perfect in every way. We also did a ketubah signing, which is part of the Jewish tradition, um, but you know, they did it really uniquely, and the rabbi and the priest were there, and all of our family and bridal party, um, and it was just, it was amazing. And the thing about our wedding and the interfaith and you know, the custom dress, it was just very unique, but very David and Melissa. And all of our vendors, but most specifically the rabbi and the priest, like really made it David and Melissa. For us, both Rabbi Lev and Father Kunin are very genuine people. They made us feel comfortable from step from the from step one to the, the entire process. They also were very uh, congratulatory towards us getting engaged and getting married. I thought it was really was a celebration. So during the ceremony, they made it feel that way. They weren't going through the robes of trying to um, you know, do a normal wedding. They really made us feel like we were special. Uh, the whole process was extremely fun. Uh, we, like I said before, we met them about three or four times each at restaurants, at their home. They were very personable people. Uh, it wasn't just talking about your wedding. It was talking about like, where you come from, your background, uh, what, what um, hobbies you, you like. So we definitely felt like we, we knew them once the whole process was over. Yes, and I'd even recommend them separately, like the rabbi for a regular Jewish ceremony and the priest for you know, a regular Catholic. It wouldn't be the same as ours, but they were just both great officiants and great people and really helped us along the process. I'm Father Walter Kuhn, the Catholic chaplain at Brandeis University, and very happy to be joined with my good friend and colleague, Rabbi Lev Bayesh. We have the honor of doing many of these Catholic Jewish weddings, as we're sort of a traveling road show, if you will, but we, <laughs> but we love it. And I think it's a, isn't it a wonderful thing that we live in a time when Catholics and Jews can come together to celebrate what we share in common, these wonderful, rich heritages of our faith joined here in the love of Melissa and David. There was a time not that far back when the hatred and bitterness between our religions was very, very difficult and sad. And I always think at an interfaith wedding, the couple stands as a reminder to us of what God would like to see happen in the whole world. In the Jewish scripture, one of the Psalms, it says, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And that truly is the case for us today. This is the day that God has made for the two of you. And we all join in rejoicing with you on this occasion. Hi, David. Take you, Melissa. Take you, Melissa. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and bad. In accordance with the laws of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and respecting our both traditions of faith, to announce to you and to this community that you are now and forever husband and wife. Congratulations. We just have a couple of more little traditions before we come to the end. And first I'd like to invite everyone, perhaps close your eyes just very quietly, to take a moment to offer a blessing each one of us in our own hearts, a blessing for Melissa and David, now united as husband and wife. Thank you. And now as a symbol of the unity and love you share together, we're going to invite you to do this little ritual with the sand, mixing the two different colors and types of sand together, symbolizing your individual selves, your families, your faith traditions, now united together. And they're mixed and they're one, but yet you still remain individuals together. They represent your families and all the people who have given you love and support.